general term of a binomial expression. Now we know that the expansion of x plus a to the power n in a binomial expression is equal to n c0 x to the power n a to the power 0 plus n c1 x to the power n minus 1 a to the power 1 plus n c2 x to the power n minus 2 a to the power 2 plus n c3 x to the power n minus 3 a to the power 3 and so on unless and until you reach the last term which is n c n x to the power 0 a to the power n right now let us write down the first the second the third and the fourth term of expansion so the first term basically is n c 0 x to the power n into a to the power 0 the second term is n c 1 x to the power n minus 1 a to the power 1 the third term is n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 a to the power 2 the fourth term is n c 3 x to the power n minus 3 a to the power 3 now if you notice there are some common properties here if this is the first term right we write this as n c 0 so the suffix of c in this case is suffix of c is 1 less than number of term so for first it is 0 which is 1 minus 1 for second it is 2 minus 1 which is 1 for third it is 3 minus 1 or 2 for fourth it is 4 minus 1 or 3 right similarly if you notice the power of a or the index of a is equal to suffix of c so if you have 0 here you have 0 here you have 1 here you have 1 here you have 2 here you have 2 here you have 3 here you have 3 here right interesting isn't it and what you also notice is that the index of x is equal to n minus suffix of c right so if the suffix here is 0 this is n minus 0 if it is 1 it is n minus 1 if it is 2 it is n minus 2 if it is 3 it is n minus 3 right so if you were to describe what is the value of a particular term let's define this as this term as t okay so basically let us say we want to find out the t for r plus oneth term so let's say if you want to find it for second term which is t2 t2 can be written as t 1 plus 1 so the value of r is what r is 1 here right so t r plus 1 can be written in n c now what was the value of the suffix of c this was whatever is the term minus 1 so if this was r plus 1 it has to be what r plus 1 minus 1 or r so you write it as n c r okay once this is r we know that the power of a or the index of a is also r and index of x is what it is r minus 1 right and the index of x is what n minus r right so in order to find out any term we can use this logic so let's say you were given an example 3x plus 5 to the power 10 and you were told to find out the sixth 
term of this binomial expression. So you have to find out T6 which is what? T5 plus 1, right? So we have R is equal to 5 here, we have N is equal to 10 here, X is equal to 3X here and A is equal to 5 here. So what will be the sixth term? The sixth term can be basically calculated by applying this formula. So T6 will be equal to N, N is what? 10 C R. What is the value of R here? 5. Okay. Into X, 3X to the power N minus R. What is the value of N minus R? N is 10, R is 5 to the power 5 into A. A is what? 5. And what is R? R is again 5. Right? So the sixth term will be this term. And you can find out the very well the value of this. So shall we try this? Okay. So 10 C5 will be factorial 10 upon factorial 5 divided by factorial 5 into 3 to the power 5 is how much? 9 into 9, 81 into 5, 3, 243 into x to the power 5 into 5 to the power 5 is what? 625 into 5 which is 3, 1, 2, 5 right? or you can write this as 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into factorial 5 divided by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into factorial 5. This will cancel out this, right? So 2 and 5 will basically cancel out this 10. 6 will go out here to give 2. 4 will go get into 8 to get 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 into 9 is? So basically what you get is 28 into 9 into 243 into 3125 x to the power 5. Right? And you can very well solve this by multiplication. This will give you 191362500 x to the power 5. Right? So the idea is simple. What you need to do is just try and put the terms into this formula.